So I have finally read through the entirety of Kami-sama Kiss, and man, it was a journey. I have loved the anime for years now, but the manga just keeps getting better and better as it goes on. The story gets more intense, the emotions run high, and we really get to see the development of all the characters shine through. Kami-sama Kiss is an incredible manga series, and I'm going to talk about all the reasons why I fell in love with this series a second time in this video. Kami-sama Kiss covers a lot of topics and themes. Some of them are more lighthearted, and others are a bit darker. The characters struggle in this manga to get in the right path. They often feel like they are being left behind by those around them, whether it's literally or figuratively. All the yokai and Kami who are Nanami's friends are anxious to see her reach her inevitable end, but they also still want to have that connection with her because they care about her. But Nanami always feels like she is a failure as a Kami and she doesn't think she can live up to Mikage and the other Kami and yokai around her. So she is constantly feeling like she is being left behind by those who are stronger or more capable than her. But as the story goes on, that feeling starts to slowly go away as she starts to grow into her own and become a better person and Kami. Kami-sama Kiss is a story of discovery and growth. One of the main ways the characters grow in this story is by finding a place to belong. Nanami, Tomoe, and the others all found that place in Mikage Shrine. The characters there are family and that really reflects a lot in their actions. They all found a family and a place to belong in the loneliness. The three main characters at Mikage Shrine, Nanami, Tomoe, and Mizuki definitely feel like a family and it brings about a really nice and wholesome vibe to the whole story. Finding your place to belong isn't always an easy thing to do, but all of these characters were able to do that and it made me really emotional when I read the ending of the series. Trauma should not define you as a person. Everyone has a few things they don't wish to remember. However, for some people, it can be really hard to grow past the trauma you had when you were younger. That is how it is in Kamisama Kiss as well. Nanami has her fair share of issues from her childhood having to grow up with no mother and a piece of shit gambling addict father. But throughout the series, she never let that define her. She was always trying to grow past it, however, that is easier said than done, and she struggles throughout the series to achieve that. But the character who struggles the most with their trauma is definitely Tomoe. He has a hard time forming connections with people again after he lost those he cared about, and it is a constant struggle for him throughout the series to accept he loves Nanami. He can also be a bit overprotective of those he cares about because of his inability to accept loss. This is why he wants to become human by the end of the series, so he doesn't have to live on when Nanami passes. Tomoe does eventually overcome his trauma and learns to accept Nanami and those around him for who they are and he is able to form genuine friendships with more people. Plus, he eventually learns to truly love humanity as well. Trauma should not define you, but it can be hard to overcome. But keep pushing yourself to be better and you definitely will someday. What is the meaning of life? Well, that is a good question, and is one that is not so easy to answer. People will live their whole lives trying to find an answer to this question, and the answer will probably differ from person to person. Kamisama Kiss also tries to give an answer to this question by having each of the characters come up with their own answers through their life journeys. It is pretty interesting to see the different answers some of the characters come up with. For spoiler reasons, I won't tell you any, but there are a lot of really interesting answers to this question that make you think of an answer yourself. One of the things I actually really liked about this series is how it goes into Japanese mythology. We get to learn a lot about the yokai and kami in different locations. The mythical elements of this series are really cool and help enhance the story. Plus, it just makes for a really cool backdrop. The different locations all look super unique, which makes the world feel vast and expansive. There are so many different yokai and kami that even when this whole story revolved around them, we didn't even scratch the surface of Japanese mythology. So it is cool that it piques your interest and gets you to want to learn more about some of the yokai or kami you saw in this manga. I love the development of the romance in this manga. There are a lot of factors at play that make the romance hard to actually pull through. Some of it I mentioned earlier, like the trauma of the characters went through. But there are other factors at play. One of the biggest things this manga brings up multiple times is that yokai and humans can't fall in love, and obviously that is a problem for Nanami and Tomoe. But I think that is stupid anyway. Love is love and you can't control who you fall in love with, and I don't think you should try to. However, it is understandable as there is a certain factor at play that is a big reason as to why it's taboo in the first place, which is that yokai live significantly longer lives than humans and they also get way more attached so it would completely devastate them when you die. We actually see this on display with Tomoe as he was completely ruined to the point that he had to get his memory sealed by the loss of someone dear to him. The development of the romance in this manga is done incredibly well and it makes it super entertaining to see it play out. I really love the artwork in this manga. Kamisama Kiss just had some really good artwork especially when it came to the character designs. Those were incredible. But really, the art was great. It looks a lot different from what a typical shoujo looks like while also having those typical shoujo elements in it. The artwork really enhanced the reading experience and made the whole manga come together. The character writing in Kamisama Kiss is amazing. All of the characters in this manga are awesome and I do mean all of them. It is pretty impressive that with such a large cast of characters, I was able to like every single one of them for something. Nanami is a great main character who really brings the whole story together. She is someone who is learning all about this world alongside us, but besides that, she is able to touch people's hearts in a way that most people can't do. She struggles and fails all the time, but she never gives up and it makes her character all the better for it. 
Tomoe is strong-willed and is also physically just strong. He does whatever he can to protect Nanami and not just because he is obligated to through his Shinshi contract, but because he genuinely loves her. He has his fair share of issues throughout the series, but he will do whatever it takes to protect those he cares about, especially Nanami. Man, there are so many good characters, I can't talk about all of them, but Mizuki is a great Shinshi to Nanami. Then we also have Hime Miko, who is Nanami's best yokai friend outside of her own shrine. She is honestly one of my favorite side characters. She is just such an awesome friend to have. The antagonists of the story are great as well. Kirihito surprised me a lot in this manga. At first, I didn't think he was going to grow as a character, but then as the series went on, he slowly started growing and changing and by the end of the story, he is actually a pretty decent guy. The other and actual antagonist of the story, Yatari, was the only character I hated, but you were supposed to hate him. He's not a good person and he never gets redeemed despite the character trying their best to do so. He doesn't have any redeeming qualities to him, which I guess is what makes him an antagonist. The character lineup is so large and great, I could be here all day talking about all the characters and what I loved about each and every one of them, but I won't do that to you guys. Instead, I will let you experience these characters for yourself if you haven't already. Kamisama Kiss was an absolutely incredible manga. I didn't realize that it was going to be better than the anime, which I already loved, but it was. Kamisama Kiss just does so much right as a story and it just made the whole experience a blast to sit through. So if you somehow found yourself watching this video and haven't experienced this series, then at the very least, check out the anime because this series is amazing and needs to be experienced by more people. But that is the video. But before I go, if you made it this far and liked the video, maybe think about dropping a like, it helps out a lot, and maybe subscribe as well. I upload every single week, so there is always stuff to watch. And if you do decide to join the community, then I'll guess I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye.